Hello and welcome back. I have actually already tried this out and swatched and stuff, but I was not happy with the video. So, here we go again. These are the Uhuru watercolor brush pens. It says 50 set here, but if you look closer, I got a zoom button somewhere. There, or it actually says water brush times two and real brush pen times 48. So that's 48 colors in here and two water brushes. Now I rearranged the way they are in the tray, the trays, because there's two trays. Um, that is because I was a little, it was a little confusing how they arrived. There were some greens and blues in both trays and stuff, so now I arranged them. There are three neon colors, a yellow, a orange, and like a coral pink. I put them there at the end so I don't accidentally take them uh, because they, yeah, they're neon and they're not quite like the rest. Other than that, I was quite happy with how they swatched out. If I have anything that I want to, it's not even a negative, it is just that this set is very heavy on reds and pinks and purples. I mean, it's pretty much all of these. And then on the other hand, browns are and greys are not, there's not very many of them. There's a decent amount of greens and blues, but, and all in all, it's quite okay. The two water brushes you get, I'm only showing you one because the other one is identical. It's like this. Uh, and there's something on the brush here that makes it stick a little bit and it... I haven't tried it yet. So, But they're the same size, both of them. And they look quite okay. I should probably fill some water in one of them. So let me grab a bottle of water. Got one here. And I got a syringe in my drawer. So let's just grab the first one here. Oh yeah, and the <laughs> they twist opposite than what you would expect. And you need to get the cap off. I use distilled water to fill it so I don't get any lime scale in my brushes. We don't have insane amount of scale, lime scale in our water, but the tap water, but it can sometimes be a little bit annoying. Come. Yeah. It feels okay. Um, put it to one side and let's try it. I'm not gonna do a swatch where I swatch all the colors out. Um, as I find that a little bit boring. There's a couple of the pinks that are very close to each other, but mm, there's a little bit of a difference. But other than that, I haven't found any duplets really in here. What I'm gonna do is, I got this Bristol pad of Faber. It is Canson Bristol, called Illustration Catalina. It's a, I guess, a Mitch Price Bristol. I sketched out a rooster. I'll tell you the name of the photographer in just a second. I found a photo of a rooster on Pixabay and no, not Pixabay on Unsplash, and the photographer is called Anthony Canton. Let's see. I should probably just put his name on here. He 
A N T A O N Y C A N T I N on splash. Strictly speaking, I didn't need to credit him, but I like when somebody credit my work, so I like to pay that back to people. Um, so, and I got a little ink cup here that I can scribble some ink out into if I am not happy with the color as it is. So, um, I'm gonna flip form and back a little bit because I didn't print out my reference photo. But I can see I need some different yellows and some reds for starters. Some of these as well. We'll grab more if needed. Oh, I need a black. Ah, come on. Let's go. Of course, they stick in the in there. So I'll start with the eye here. And if you can't find this exact photo, you need to find uh, a photo with a little more um, of the rooster. I just cut it so that I got a portrait size. So, the big, big is yellow. These goes on so nice on the paper, and they don't uh, pill the paper like some of those uh, watercolor pens with felt nibs often do. His face and is it called a comb? I think so. Is red. I think I need a piece of paper to get some color testing on. There's no name on on these. No color names. It's so kind of to get to know them. Oh, those were really close. Well, that one's a little bit darker. Oh, those are, those are good. I'll start with this one. I'm painting some ink out in the cup because I want kind of a light wash to start with. Let's see how this one does. Didn't give off a lot of water. There. Just needed to get started. I should probably have wetted the paper first, but this is just the first layer, so hopefully the ne next layers will be better. So 
I'll cover it up a bit. This part here, I need to be a little light. These kind of colors, pens, they just work better on Bristol than many other types of paper. You will often see on, on the product that it says to use on watercolor paper. It is just a little difficult to use on watercolor paper um, because they tend to, to dry up too quickly on watercolor paper. So you, you get, it easily gets streaky. Let's see if I can get my shade a little less. Yeah, it definitely get more even if you wet. <coughs> Excuse me, the paper first. I'm gonna have to color. The brush works adequately. It doesn't feel like it's in the way in any way. Now when I want to think a relatively even layer like this as the base layer, I don't really want to use the brush directly on there because it's easy to get the brush strokes to be very visible. And the other thing is if I wet the paper first and I put the pen on and try to even things out, it mm, uh, the pen gets soaked dry of of ink or um, or it gets streaky this is not too even but it's not hopeless it's more uneven than if I had been um, using um, Using water, real watercolors. This eye is orange. Um, more orange in here. And these tips are so, so pointy, so it's really quite easy to, to get details in here. Really fine details. Lot of 
shadows going on in this guy's face. A lot of texture in his skin as well. Try to see if I can mimic some of that. This is going to be a long video, but they are very, very nice to use. Really super. Yeah, um, I don't want to do this because I think a, a video on how to use things or probably or how they feel when you use them is probably more helpful than just a swatch because I find that most things behave nicely in the swatch session. But sometimes when you then get to use them, either the colors doesn't blend or yeah, something might not be quite as, as good as you thought on a, during the swatch session. Or the other way, it, it might be that it, it felt worse on the swatch session and, or looked a little dull. But then once you get started using them, they, they're quite good. So, um, that's my take on it. See if I can wash that out a little bit. Yeah, I can. So I should use some of that too. Dark red in his face here. Yes. 
they blend out so nicely. So all those pen strokes, they don't look so harsh when they get a little bit of water. And even though that dried, it reactivated quite nicely when I came with a wet brush. So even dried ink on your palette won't be wasted. My paper is buggling a bit, but I also added quite a lot of water to it now. So, so far so good. I'll let, leave that to dry a little bit. And I'll start working on his feathers a bit here. not quite as bright yellow as I expected but this color is in there as well so let's just start with that So when you pull them across the paper quickly, you get a dry brush effect. If you don't want that, be a little slower. The ink doesn't rush out of these very quickly. But as far as I've seen from others using similar products, that's not unusual for this type of pens. Let's go in with the bright yellow again here. There are some bright yellows in here. been wanting to do a drawing or painting of a rooster for a long time because I think they're really gorgeous but it's been harder than I expected to find just just the right photo so I'm really grateful that this Anthony cat in guy took one and made it available. Thank you. I've been taking photos of roosters myself, but they looked a lot more worn. I don't know if Danish roosters fight more than others, but they all looked have been looking like they came right out of the bar. The ones I've taken photos of at least. Okay, so this yellow is a little bit darker, but it 
does not really play in there. Let's try. Oh, wow. Has these stipples along the the feathers. And that chip here is just perfect for that. All these little stipply lines here. It's a lot of those. Let us continue with some of that red on his face. And continue to paint that on. This is the darker red.
on the previous layers doesn't tend to pick up and reactivate by the looks of it. So that's good. Now you might get entirely different results if you use a different paper from what I'm using because the yeah, that plays into to how things act together. Disappear a little bit. And there's actually kind of a red ring around his ear hole here as well. I think there wasn't even, was that the darkest red? Ooh, I think it was. getting quiet but that's when I do details I can't really talk and still at the same time I'm trying to get a little bit of the texture of his skin in here I really love those super fine tips there. That's uh, really fantastic for doing textures and details like this. The tip is flexible, but not not too flexible so it springs as soon as you let go it springs back to to its shape as it should I'm quite impressed with these So if you're watching and you decide to make a bigger set, I'll be happy to review it. Uh -huh. 
And I picked uh, this rooster because he was quite bright in his colors because these are super, super bright. I was thinking that I might have to go in with fine liners and add details later, but I don't think I will have to because I actually can do it just with these. Let's see if I can find the photographer online. And tag him on. I'm gonna put a photo of this on Instagram. See if I can find him and tag him. Because I'm quite grateful for his contribution. Him and everybody else who makes gorgeous photos available for people like me and others. Who has less luck finding the animals with, and things we would like to paint? I'm quite surprised how hard it was to find a rooster here in Denmark because there's tons of people with chickens and hens and stuff. But for some reason I haven't been able to get myself invited or invite myself <laughs> to somebody's chicken coop. I should try harder. The only people whose chickens I was allowed to take photos of had all black. And they were gorgeous. Actually, I got good photos of their black rooster, but he's a little difficult to draw exactly because he is black. Or he was. Um, I think he did something to make himself disappear into a soup pot, unfortunately. I think he had a disagreement with the owner about whose yard it was. So I think he started chasing somebody out there. Which was not acceptable. Wow, I'm just saying, wow. They're not super easy to tell the difference between, so a color name might have been a good thing to add. I need to look at my reference again here because 
I need to know where all the darts go. Can't really go much darker with this. That's already used a bit too much. to find that reddish brown I have. It's a golden. Uh, I guess we need to pick through the... tree. Just grab all of them. Because I need some darkness. As well. Okay, so these two. If I can get this to soften out a bit, oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I am so taken with this that this is just fantastic. Add a little bit and then a little bit of water on the brush and it just softens right out. Do a little bit of water. Lost and found line there. This is gorgeous. Oh, those are good. Well, if I have one complaint, and I don't think anybody can do anything about it, they are not light fast. All of these things are always dye based. So if you want to do a piece like this, or this and you want to hang it up, you have to scan it and print it in some ink that is more light fast than on this but gosh they're a joy to use why didn't I get these a long time ago
just so fantastic nice to, to use it's like using a, a really good brush and you don't have to think about dipping it it just keeps going Totally thrilled. You can't tell by my voice, but I am. It's because I'm focused. I can't sit here and scream like a little girl, even though I feel like it. stop I don't want this to finish because this is so much fun Just wow. Yeah, um, if you don't have them, get them. Um, I'm usually not this, um, this excited about many things, but wow. Absolutely a delight to work with. Completely fun. I think I'll leave it at that. And um, total thumbs up for this. I mean, it. Uh, I'll zoom you in as much as it allows 
this this is just oh my goodness and I don't know I'm not because I must text you to the ink here Ah, I love these. Uhuru. Let me just get my Uhuru watercolor brush pens. 48 colors. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Bristol paper. I don't remember when I was last this excited about something new. It, it's just great. You can find this, uh, I'll take a photo of this and put it on Instagram as well. You can see the Instagram link in my description. And thank you so much for watching. Please come back, I've got more stuff on my channel. This is in the middle of Inktober, so there's loads of videos to watch. Please throw me a like and a subscribe and a comment and all that YouTube stuff. Bye!